but governments can't die. So we need to find other incentives for bureaucracy to adapt and improve. The technology revolution has transformed organizations across the private sector. But not ours, not fully, not yet. We are, as they say, uh, tangled in our anchor chain. Our financial systems are decades old. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. Well, you don't just have two, three, ten trillion dollars vanish. There's a whole system in place, and it comes from many different budgets. And then a big part of the funding comes from private endeavors. So it isn't just government, it's private and government together. So I call this a hybrid entity that's neither strictly government nor strictly private. And interestingly, from a secrecy point of view, as a private entity, corporate or a citizen, penetrate these projects, oh, it's top secret national security. Most of the work being done on this are private corporations, Northrop, Raytheon, the old E-Systems, EG&G, and they'll say, well, oh, it's proprietary, you see? So if you come from the government, it's proprietary. If you come from corporate or, or civilian, it's top secret government. So they kind of wall it off, they play that game. It's like the Truman Show. If you look at that old show, uh, uh, Jim Carrey is playing this guy who, who his whole life is raised in this sort of fake set and wakes up one day and realizes my whole life has been this staged thing. So I think most people don't realize we're living in, in somebody's big Truman show here. The controllers, I call them, uh, who, who orchestrate these things. And so we kind of have to go, well, we need to have that Jim Carrey moment where we kind of wake up and realize, you know, we've been in a, in a crazy Truman show here for 70 years since World War II and get real, you know, that's what we need to do.